Hi guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So, uh, this is the last little piece that we shot the other day at Ray Roberts. And I've gotten a lot of comments from guys. I, by the way, guys, I like small boats. I, uh, Clay Clavin, your mold, fishing partner and I, we had a 16, 17 foot aluminum boat we fished out of in Palestine for a long time. I would like to have another small boat. I'm, I enjoy fishing out of them. Just on Raymer and Toledo, you gotta have over 20 feet of boat most of the time. So, uh, I say all that to say, I know a lot of guys that don't fish Raven and Toledo, guys that fish Palestine, guys that fish in most other states, fish out of smaller boats. So today we're testing in a 19 foot legend. It's about a 1400, 1420 pound boat. Uh, it, of course they haven't made those boats in a while, but I think it's a, it kind of fits a whole group of boats that are that size, that weight. Now most boats are a little bit heavier than this boat, but what, what, fits I think for us is that Tom has put a brand new four stroke Pro XS 200 horse Mercury on here. So it's telling us kind of in that length and weight range what we need to be running. So let's check that out and when we come back we'll do our spark drawing and I'm going to share a couple of thoughts with you that I'm taking from this based on some of the comments you guys are making to me as well. All right so <laughs> tell us tell me what we're going out in. All right this is a 2014 Legend 191, it's got a 2020 Mercury 4-stroke Pro XS. I'm about to do my 200-hour maintenance on it. So I've put some hours on this 2020. So if we were running, what prop have you been running on it? A 24 Fury. All right, so if we were running that together, what would we run? Uh, if we were running with two of us in uh -huh. the boat, we'll run around 60 at most probably maybe a little better today at 5700 rpm okay so that gives us our baseline and yep. then we're going to let you we're going to run it together and then we're going to let you run it by yourself and now we've got a 23 pitch so right we've yeah. switched out we've got chris's clench 23 pitch three blade fury yeah. and we're going to see how she runs so let's yeah. go check it out Ooh, it feels like a little bitty boat i fished i tournament fished for years with uh my tournament partner with a 21 foot trident I'd make him get in this one a lot. <laughs> he didn't like it on yeah. rough days. These are fun to fish out of though on a lot of days. This is what I like. I like a 19 footer. All right, I'm just gonna start it all the way down. Yeah. 23. All right, ready? Mounts right out. Yeah.
faster into the wind than you are normally. Yeah, I did. And, uh, and with two people. That's what I'm saying. Run that way. With two, I've never run 63 with this Yeah. I can run. Let me run it one more time. Yeah. Let me get over in the calmer side here and get run, it, that run one more time. You know me, I'm a boat rider. Yeah, you are. Hold on. Sit down, shut up. Yeah, hold on. This is much as I can expect. As I think on a small day. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think it does too. It's nice to run 60 without pushing it real hard. You know? yeah. All right, so let's recap that. What do you think? Uh, it runs better than the 24 Fury. A lot. What did we hit as far as speed? 65, 66? Yeah, somewhere I think in there. 66. With, kind of uh, quarter in the wind. It wasn't uh, behind us and it wasn't in our right, face. Right, right corner in the wind. So uh, it definitely ran better with two people than uh, than the 24 Fury, which I was sure it would. I think I could run a 22 because I don't think I still hit 6,000 RPM. So while I get the truck, go see what it'll do. Okay. That'd be, uh, that'd be I, I, th I think you're right. I think in the summer you could run a 22, but I think in the winter this is your problem. I just sold a Fury prop. <laughs> <laughs> I think Who's Fury good. prop is that? That's a, we can tell them if we is don't. Is that Chris's? It's Chris's customers. Oh, yeah. It sure well, is. I've been trying to get him to fish it. Okay, so final word. 23 pitch, you ran it by yourself. It, it ran great. That's the, that's the fastest this boat's gone, about 67 by myself. So. I think. And it's a rough day. And it's, yeah, it's, it was bumpy out there. I think I could have got a little bit more, but uh, definitely on a cooler day, it would have even run better. But it runs great. What was your Handled RPMs? Good. Never got up to six still. It was probably 57, 58. All right, we got to find a 22 pitch Fury so we can come, up, come back up fun. here and play That'd with yours. Fun. Anybody's got a 22 Fury, they'll let us borrow a holler. Cause I'd like to, I'd like to tweak this boat out, just like we're tweaking my boat out. I think that's cool. And yeah, it would be. There's cool. just as many guys cool. running 19 foot boats as there are mm -hmm. running 20 and 21 foot boats. So there weren't a whole lot of that one made. I don't think. I don't think they made. But, a whole no. Lot. Uh -uh. Okay, spark draw. Now remember, uh, Bass Champs Championships coming up. There's five thousand dollars to the top finishing spark customer or spark bass affiliate. Seventy five bucks to join that. One guy joins it. The team's qualified. So there's another five grand up there, and there's still 10 lakes, 2,000 bucks a piece, 20,000 bucks for big fish out of them. This, uh, I guess, basically through the end of the year is what we're doing. So if you want to look into that, check out sparkfishing.com and you can learn all about that. And we continue to give away 250 bucks every week from our friends at Spark Fishing, at Spark Energy, excuse me, right here on Ken Smith Fishing YouTube channel. And this week it's going to go to, man, I'm going to mess this up. Mario Lucchetti, I'm going to guess, L-U-C-C-H-E-T-T-I, out of Commerce, Texas. Mario, be on the lookout for an envelope that says rewards on it. That'll be a 250 gift card from your friends at Spark Energy. So I think the lesson to be learned in this is there's probably, for most motors, summer props and winter props. And I think you can have some crossover and you can find a prop that works for both. I think in this case, the 23 pitch, if he's going to own one prop, is probably his prop to run because he's going to pick up RPMs this winter. I'm going to show that to you guys as it cools down, how much more RPMs we can get out of these different props just based on the air and the water temperature. And by the way, I don't know the answer to that. I may actually play with that a little bit this winter on a power plant lake to see if there's a significant difference between cold air, warm water, and cold air, cold water. But what some guys have said to me is, uh, I had a guy comment, actually I had a couple of guys make this comment, wouldn't you rather want run X miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, 73 miles an hour, at 5,800 RPMs versus 6,100 RPMs? Isn't that easier on your motor? Yeah, maybe. I think the motor's probably working just about as hard to turn either one of those RPMs. And what I'll tell you is, so when I sold my boat to Brian, my, my last boat, that boat had a couple of hundred hours on the motor. And less than 2%, as I recall, 1.7% of the hours were at wide open throttle. So truthfully, you really just, it doesn't make that big a difference. Now, what that did get me thinking about, and from a question one of you guys asked was, 
which do you get better fuel mileage out of? So that's a great question, and I've got the tool to figure that out. So through my Garmin, I can run that uh, the, the data off my motor, and it'll tell me fuel consumption per hour or per minute. I can't remember which one it is. So we'll, what I'll do next time we're out when we have multiple props to check, I'll run them at 30 and 40 and 50 miles an hour. We'll look at the RPMs and we'll look at the fuel consumption to see which one of those is making the biggest difference. I think that'll be interesting. And as you guys know, that's the kind of stuff I like to kind of geek out about. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've got some more small boat footage coming up for y'all this Thursday. I think you'll enjoy. And how about a super close up to end right here because my battery died. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see y'all again on Thursday.